Well, I'm artifacts of Mars, and researchers claiming that there's this tablet that may prove that the Tower of Babel was actually real. Now, that's very interesting. Uh, the tablet's been around for a hundred years, so this thing is a well-known artifact. Right in Genesis 11, 1 through 9, the biblical tower is constructed in the land of Shinar by an ancient people whose common language made it easy for them to co cooperate and work together. Dissatisfied with their actions, God decided to confound their speech and scare them across the face of the earth. The tower, which was never completed, became known as Babel. For centuries, scholars, historians, and theologians have debated whether the tower actually existed, but now ancient text expert Dr. Andrew George of the University of London may have finally found the answer thanks to a stone tablet dating back to around 600 B.C. In an upcoming, upcoming episode of the Smith, Smithsonian's, Smithsonian Channel's Secret Series, uh, Dr. George is about to make an announcement regarding the tower, which may even include where it was and what it looked like. And here you have an artist's conception. This tablet provides first ever image of the real Tower of Babel. He said it confirms the building was a Mesopotamian Tamian step tower and illustrates the seven tiers of the ancient megastructure. Significantly, it also clearly identifies man behind it, Mesopotamia's most famous ruler, King Nebuchadnezzar II. Teaser videos below. Uh, well, you know, bully them if they prove it. I mean, then we'll have a definite starting point. Here's my problem with the uh, Tower of Babel story, though. And I'm going to take you to that text. The whole earth was, Genesis 11, 1 through 9, the whole earth was of one language and one speech. Came past as they journeyed from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. They said to one another, Go, let's make, a, make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, the slime they had for mortar. And they said, Go, let's build a city and a tower whose top may reach on, up to heaven, and let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which was which the children of men built built. I'm gonna read that again. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. And to parrot the uh, fictional Captain Kirk Uh what does God need with a spaceship? Remember, uh, if you've ever seen Star Trek V, Kirk and his landing party are there looking at God and Kirk. And God wants them to take him out in their spaceship. And Kirk asks, what does God need with a spaceship? Um, which is a valid question. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and they, this they began to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there, there we go again. Verse 7, Let us go down. And there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. I've heard that, by the way, translated into the. We used to have 
the ability to uh, speak to one, one another telepathically, and they, that was what was eliminated. Take that for what it's worth. So the Lord scared them from broad and thus upon the face of the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore, is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scare them abroad upon the face of all the earth. So, taking a look at this thing, there's no way that anyone could have reached up into heaven with this thing. Which means there had to have been some, assuming it was real, there had to have been some kind of technology or something that would have disturbed whoever we're talking about when we're talking about God. Because otherwise, you just walk to the nearest mountain and get higher than that thing could have ever been. I mean, mud bricks? I mean, come on. You have to be reasonable about things. Uh, our tall skyscrapers with our technology today are all well under a mile high. Of course, we go into space using spaceships, and we haven't found heaven or anything like that. So I suspect there uh, was some kind of ET involvement there, but I can't prove it, of course. Just speculation. At any rate, uh, thanks for watching the Artifacts of Mars. Hope you enjoyed this interesting story, I have to admit. Have a nice day.